Okay, welcome back everyone. We're here live in Las Vegas. This is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon, it's our CUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the advanced instructed signal from the noise. We're doing our wrap up, day two, wrapping up IBM Pulse, IBM's premier cloud event. This is our exclusive independent coverage of IBM Pulse. And I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined with my co-host Dave Vellante, co-founder of Wikibon.org. Dave, wall-to-wall -wall coverage. I mean, literally, we could not get anyone in the slots packed house, we had every all the major executives from uh, IBM, Steve Mills on earlier, uh, mid-market, smart, smarter infrastructure, we had Steve Robinson on, I mean just the list goes on and on. And I'm really impressed with the talent that IBM has as the management team, very impressed with the strategy and how they articulate their vision and their plans. Overall, um, I'm really surprised. I was not thinking they were going to do this good of a job. Blue Mix, uh, blew it out of the water, in my opinion. Um, great feedback. We'll see, we'll get under the hood, we'll look at it in the lab, but basically, good good review. I'd give this a, a, an, a, an A plus for IBM. I'd give them an A, a lot of walking around here at the, at the MGM. I'd give them, I'd knock a half a letter grade off. Give them a straight, <laughs> just give them a straight A. What do you think? Well, John, I think I, I would agree with you. Uh, Pulse exceeded my expectations. By the way, as did IOD. I mean, I think if you, if you cycle back a couple of years in the big data space, you know, IBM really wasn't a legitimate part of the conversation. You know, IOD the last couple of years totally, totally changed my opinion on that. I think same thing in cloud. IBM was, was in my view, you know, struggling in cloud a couple of years ago. And they put together the portfolio and I think this has culminated, this pulse has culminated in, in a real mind share shift and also I think meat on the bone as you like to say. Now, I also wanted to say, you and I have had a number of conversations in theCUBE. What's it going to take for an enterprise player to compete? We've had this conversation at HP Discover, we've had this conversation at, at EMC World and other conferences. And I think IBM laid it out. You know, the IBM's got the game plan. They got the portfolio, they got the public cloud platform. They've got, you know, it, moving toward transparent pricing and self-service. They've got a middleware and pass layer. They've, they're developing an ecosystem. They got, as you pointed out, they got to do more work, work on the developer side. They're building data centers at scale. They've got a, a vision for hybrid, and it's all about services, 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 and getting on, you know, what Amazon talks about is that flywheel. So those are the pieces of the puzzle that IBM is putting together, wrapped around you know, a services infrastructure and a distribution channel that's global and massive, that's a formula to compete in cloud. Well, we said it on the VM, uh, VMware, VMworld last year, we kind of teased it out, and this year we talked specifically at AWS reInvent, exactly what you said, and we laid out, it's Amazon for the enterprise, it has to look and smell like Amazon, but be different and be more uh, walking and talking as a enterprise play with those key enterprise features. I would agree. They are laying it out. Um, ecosystem development opportunity, good partner network, OEM relationships, very transactional consumerization front end conversation, the narrative around engagement, the narrative around big data and Watson discovery, power systems, middleware with, with the blue mix is really the key. You know, and it's probably their weakest link right now, but it's the most explosive opportunity wise because it's just so early, but they're laying a big bet down for Blue Mix, and soft layer underneath it is just going to be scaling out as much hardware and commodity infrastructure as possible. So, you know, that is the formula. Can they wrap their services around it and do those things? HP should be taking notes here because all the analysts, the Gartner analyst basically was implying, she basically said, this is way better than HP's articulated cloud strategy. So, so you know, Gartner. Well, I just think this, it's, it's much more rich. The, no, the amount of services that you have here, the, 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 the vision, the, the substance. There's way more substance here. And to me, uh, and we didn't get give it too much play here, but it came up a number of times. The SaaS pieces that IBM owns, the acquisitions that IBM has made around SaaS, it more completes the puzzle, don't you think? Yeah, and I think one of the things, talk about HP, we talk about this all the time. Um, the operational work involved to make cloud work. I mean, IBM gets good messaging. Gotta, they, they, they're not weak on marketing, we know that. However, the story hangs together and they did a good job of presenting it. But one of the things that they did, they did their homework, Dave, on this one. They did, they really did their homework and they brought an operational aspect to execution in, in their, built into their messaging. Meaning, if you look at their messaging, when you try to expose the flaws, 
You really can. You turn over one card and it links to another. You turn over another card, it links to another. And it's all tied to operational efficiencies in, in the computing IT landscape, serving a lot of constituencies. So they, they really hit all the marks. They serve IT, lines of business, developers, all tied together. Again, they did their homework. And the key is, the difference between cloud washing and this strategy is they did their homework and it translates into operations, which will translate into execution in my opinion. So I think IBM really did their homework. The question on the table is, can they convert their developer community into the mainstream DevOps? 70% of the attendees here are new attendees. That's good news for IBM. That's a signal of, of, of strength and signal of success in the adoption. Can they convert that? Can they get that ecosystem? Can they convert the developer ecosystem? Can they convert the partners? Uh, we heard from uh, the, the, the mar mid-marketing manager, Channel's Excited, and ultimately the OEM. So, to me, it's a great success. Dave, I'm excited. Thanks for the team here and all the folks out back at the ranch. Uh, Jeff Frick, Alex, uh, Greg Stewart, Stu Miniman. Um, Stu is one of the MVPs and VIPs on the leaderboard uh, here at the social conference. Um, Dave, we didn't make the VIP list, but we're on attendees. Uh, although I was number two yesterday, but uh, but we we got Mills in the cube, so I'm really happy. <laughs> Steve about Mills that. was the that highlight was of the day. Highlight, in yeah. he Chu was in here. She was awesome. In he Cho Su is a uh, rock star. Sa, yep, she's awesome. Um, who else did we have? Meg just on was awesome too. She's you know I've, you know she's she's dressed like a DevOps person. I liked her just the way she was looking. You know she looked like she's going to code. Um, Pamela <laughs> ready to hack. She looked like a hacker. <laughs> um, Mid market Heidi was awesome. A lot of vision. So overall, I'm excited, Dave. I've been looking forward to the next IBM show. Um, IBM's on a run. Well, it's like I said, the game's on in the enterprise. Um, you know, everybody's gone Amazon crazy, and, and really, the, the world has been looking for an alternative. They've been looking for a formula that's going to work in the enterprise. I think IBM laid out the game plan. It's very clear. You know, when IBM decides to do something, it puts in a lot of money. It brings together its resources. It puts, you know, the 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 wood behind one arrow, as Scott McNeely used to say, and. And I, I think it's going to work. I think that IBM's target of seven billion by 2015 is. Uh, I think they're going to hit it. I think they're going to beat it. I think this is the beginning of uh, you know the the Gini Rometty era, and I think you're going to see a lot of good things out of IBM yeah, going forward. I think the B2B cloud is up for up for grabs. Software will be the center of the value proposition. Software defined cloud really is the message here, and it's open. Mm -hmm. The beautiful thing is, they're not land grabbing aggressively. They're going to play on their strengths and go open. I think that's a great win. So from IBM Pulse, this is theCUBE. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante, that's a wrap. Stay with us and, and follow theCUBE. Go to siliconangle.tv, our new site, check it out. Siliconangle.com for uh, publishing, wikibon.org, and also check out crowdchat.net. We are in public beta preview one. It's still a closed public beta. We're going to open that up shortly, look for some big news around crowdchat, social collaboration, and uh, we'll be back at the next show. Stay with us. This is theCUBE signing out from Las Vegas.